welcome back to Haunt of the Collector with me, Jace. Now, this is a very, very impromptu video. First thing this morning, it's both issues I'm covering in this video. It's going to be a short video as well. Well, it won't be if I keep on interjecting like this, <laughs> like I'm known to do. Uh, both issues of the cover are to do with Queen Studios. Now, the first thing I saw this morning, which was a breaking news, that Queen Studios are now selling certain pieces. Now, I believe it's restricted to one one scale marvel busts at the moment but they're selling them through sideshow so good news certainly good news for people in the us and also for the uk because i know when i was buying from sideshow i never had any issues with shipping or shipping fees blah 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 but i think it's also good potentially for the future as well so hopefully i'm assuming the restrictions are down to licensing laws and what have you so but hopefully queen studios can extend on this and you know more and more of their stuff can be distributed and sold through sideshow um which would be great news especially with them doing lord of the rings so there's that so and um, moving on from that but staying with queen studios today there was a couple of presumably leaked images um these were of the in art one six scale gandalf but they they were showing the full the full piece the full one six scale piece now the one image is pretty clear quite good quality and the other image isn't as good quality it's a bit blurred but however it does you can clearly see the base and the extra pieces that you get in the box now there's not many pieces in the box but i didn't really think there would be because when you think of gandalf the gray you know he's going to have his sword he's going to have his staff and really not much else there's not much else that he has or he's going to do so um yeah and the base is very basic as well so now this might sound like i'm being a little bit overly critical here and i apologize and in no way am i sort of trying to belittle one six scale poseable figure so please don't think that if anything all i'm trying to do is convince myself that i do not want to buy these pieces which is probably why i'm being very very well i'm quite critical anyway but well i'm very critical re alerts when i did my review on him um but yeah when i saw this image today which wasn't that long ago, it was only about an hour ago and then i thought i was sitting here sitting here on the sofa watching telly and i thought no bollocks to it i'll stick a video out now but i've got to say because i i got it in my head that because queen studios had done this phenomenal head sculpt i'm not going to go into that because i've already done a whole video on that and i was probably being over expectant of them i thought they were going to pull off some amazing magic trick where the mixed media was going to be phenomenal and they were going to somehow make one six scale clothing look like one one scale clothing and they haven't from this image from what i can see on this image it looks like one six scale mixed media looks on or the other one six scale mixed media pieces i've seen and like i said in my previous video the the illusion of reality ends below the neck and for me personally i must admit i was a little disappointed by it the photo image and quality might not be helping or lighting but the, the color of the actual cloak on gandalf looks completely wrong to me i need to quickly stick the film on and have a look but i don't ever remember it being that sort of it's almost like a reddish color but again it, it could be lighting but that's that's by the by because to to replicate old worn dirty stained ripped clothing in one six scale is it's a monumental task and something that whereas they could probably do it in one or two figures they can't really replicate that over something that's going to be mass produced so you know I'm, I'm sort of being unrealistic and probably unfair to expect queen studios to have been able to have done that but on another hand i'm kind of glad they haven't because i'm like yeah okay that sounds it's what i thought i had kind of hoped it might be they've not pulled off the magic trick i don't need to get into this line <laughs> so but all you one six scale figure collectors i'm sure are going to absolutely love these pieces because i still think they'll stand out as being pretty much the standout pieces in any one six scale poseable figure collection and incidentally there is a whole range coming out in phase one which covers 2022 2023 i'll put the list up here for you now so you can see what's coming up 
I did think as well when I saw these images though, seeing that it has got a very basic base, Queen Studio doesn't like Queen Studios have done anything with the base particularly. Again, this might not be the final product. Don't know. This might not be the final product. These were just the two images that were leaked. But looking, going from these images alone, very basic base. There's not much at all in the box. I would be now looking at this and expecting a price tag of around three hundred pound, three fifty at a push. I wouldn't want to be paying much more than that. So, yeah. What do you all think? What do you all think to the news of Queen Studios now being able to distribute certain pieces, at least through Sideshow? What do you all think to now you've seen the full image of Gandalf? What do you think of those images? What do you think the price of it's going to be? Are some of you still going for it? Are you impressed? I know a lot of people were uh, commenting on this image and saying that they were very impressed with it. And it is. It's just I probably built it up a bit too much in my head. Let me know. Let me know in the comments. I'd love to know. Now, um, what was I going to say? I was going to say something then. It's gone. don't know what it was. Uh, <laughs> I generally was going to say something. Yeah, uh, I'm going to go, guys. It's Friday evening, and you're all during your Friday evening. It's the weekend coming, and this is just mega impromptu. Okay, everyone, I think that's it for me on this video. So all that's left for me to say is, as ever, guys, anything covering what the, any of the topics covered in this, please stick it in the comments below. Anything you want to say, anything about anything else, you know, I love to hear from you all. Just shove it in the comments. If you've enjoyed the video, please show it by giving it a like. And I think we are just a Nat cock over 50 subscribers away from the big 500. And you all know what happens when we get to the big 500. We get the giveaway going on. Yes, right. I bought a few little bits and pieces which I will be giving away to a handful of very lucky subscribers once we reach 500. So if you're one of the people watching this video who hasn't subscribed, please consider subscribing because it helps us get to 500 and then I get to give away these bits and pieces I bought for some of you lucky little buggers out there. Okay, right. I'm going to go. Enjoy your Friday, everyone, and have a great weekend ahead, and I will speak to you all on the next video, whenever that is. Take care of yourselves, and as ever, really appreciate you all watching, and I'll talk to you soon. Ta-ra, Take care.